This is a deformed guppy, and she was supposed to be euthanized when she was three days old, but somehow made it out alive. Every month when Gigi gives birth, there's usually a few babies born with a deformity like scoliosis or blindness, which is sad because these are the ones that end up badly struggling. They have trouble competing for food and end up stunted, which lowers their quality of life. So I euthanize them to end their suffering and protect the future generations from these traits. But recently when I was doing a health check for my adult fish, I realized there were two deformed females that escaped from the euthanizing stage. And they don't have scoliosis or blindness, but head indents. It isn't aesthetically pleasing, but it doesn't seem to affect their quality of life. So I'm putting them both into my Wallstat snail bowl for now until I can get another tank cycled for them. That way, if they give birth, the new babies won't be able to pass on this gene. Although these fish may look normal from the top view, 